This truck, <laughs> I know it really well. That may be an understatement. Gordon Passell started working at the Aiken Fire Department in 1958 and served for over 25 years. In that time, he got to know engine number two very well. After being restored by fireman Keith Nental, this Dodge truck is looking very much like the fire engine it was when it debuted for the department in 1956. After two decades of service, the truck was sold off to the city of Wright, where it was used for another 10 years. Keith was able to purchase the truck from a private owner in 2007. From there, the restoration took place, and the rest is history. To see this old baby out and looking so good, it uh, does one proud. It was a chance for retired Aiken firemen to remember the times they shared with truck number two. Whether it was legendary fires. And the roof came off and went over our heads. <laughs> driving mishaps. I drove it once. There's no power steering. It had army tires on the front. and. It, I ended up in the snowbank at St. John's Lutheran Church. Or learning experiences shared with family. I was assigned to this truck as a rookie, and my dad was, at that time was the captain of this truck, which kind of worked out pretty good because I got uh, taken under the wing a little more than everybody else. There's one thing they all remembered about the truck. I still uh, still remember the sound and roar of the engine on this thing. You didn't really need a siren. Whatever reason, this truck never had mufflers on it. So you could hear the truck without the siren. The reason was actually very practical. The exhaust system heated the pump system in it to keep it from freezing. Whether it was the loud engine or the times they spent on it, it's the memories of the truck and their time together that will always hold a special place in these firemen's hearts. Everybody here this truck belongs to, quite frankly, they served on this truck. Um, they have as many memories in this truck as I do. I just happen to have the title. Um, they are the truck. It's, it's, it is who the fire department is. Cameron Kramer, Lakeland News.